Hey everybody, Karen from Ask the Spirit Guides. How you doing tonight? Uh, this is actually going to be a reading for uh, day four of post-election. So I thought I would do, I'm just going to see how, if people are interested in this and how far it goes. But then and when it, when it starts to slow down, like people not that interested in post-election card reading, then I'll go ahead and do like a seven day or whatever and stay and kind of report in and what the, if there was any if I, you know I see any kind of big picture trends over that time period so I just think it'd be interesting to see if there's any patterns between all the readings so okay so I'm basically uh, if you're new here um, I'm going to just ask my spirit guides to give us a message and actually yours too um, just collectively, maybe I'll do collectively tonight. Um, geez, oh, Pete's. that's usually what I'm looking for or something to pop out, but that wasn't quite ready. I'll say a little prayer and just to make sure that I'm speaking to who I would like to speak to and I don't hear them directly. Um, I get thoughts in my head, which I think, you know, there's a name for that, but, um, but I don't. I've never thought that that was, I mean, I just thought it was my own intuition, right? So it's hard to know, but, um, so I do have a lot of faith though, that like the message that you see, whenever you see this video, it would be, cause not everybody sees the videos, you know, I'm, you know how algorithms work, right? So not everybody sees the, the videos and I do, I just like to believe that when you stumble upon something if you've noticed that in your life in general, that when you st stumble upon something, you get a message like kind of at the right time when you needed it. You know what I mean? So, okay. So um, that's what I'll do. And I'm using this tarot card, um, Angel Deck. She no longer is into this, um, even though she was quite skilled at this. Um, she has like a whole different history. But you can get these on Amazon. I do have an affiliate link below if you're interested in supporting the channel, if you were interested in the cards in general. And then I also have the big book of tarot, uh, angels. It's angel cards. So <clears throat> you can buy that separate, but it does come with a little book like this. Okay, so oh, one other suggestion. If you're going to, if you would like to come back to the channel and and participate in angel readings, then one thing I would recommend is that maybe you get a notebook and as you come upon the angel readings is just take some notes because when I'm going to read, you know, or like I'm going to show you the picture and I'll show you the picture and then you might, you know, like what do you see anything in it and you can write that down. And then if you hear any words that resonate with you, okay? Because what my goal is, is that you start using your own intuition. So I don't want to tell you what the interpretation of this card is. I might add some things, you know, like, oh, oh that's interesting. Like something to pay attention to, depending, you know, because we're talking about the election today. But um, so it's really important that you start to pay attention to your own intuition because we all have it. We all have intuition and we all get signs. Sometimes we just need to tap into that and get clearer about it, you know. Okay, all that said. All right, so I close my aura to all but my higher self, the God consciousness, my guides and guardians, and ask Archangel Michael to please protect this channel so it's only of the light. Amen. And hey, you guys, so um, I would like to just call in all of the spirit guides of anyone who would visit this channel and ask that collectively that you give us a message for day four of post-election and what would you like us to know is there a message that would be helpful for any visitor to this video that would aha okay all right so i just kind of wait for something to pop out and we'll see what it is. All right. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Let's wait and see. Okay. So I'm covering up the words at first. I will, I will, just so you can focus. I mean, you see the words up here. I'll read those. 
And then I want you to just focus on the image for a minute. Is there anything that you see in the image? And again, this is a message about the election. And honestly, at this point, you know, one way or the other, it, you know, regardless of how you voted, maybe you're just curious. <clears throat> what do you see in there? And I love, I love it when people comment. I can't always get, I read all the comments. I can't really reply all the time to each comment because there's quite a few of them, but I love, and mostly because I think it's fun for everybody to see what, what um, people think about it. Okay, so this is the Knight of Water. The Knight of Water is emotional. The message is emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, and con contemplative. Con contemplative, yeah, con contemplative. Okay, so any of those words resonate with you, you know, you could write those down. So falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. An invitation to a social event. Okay. So in with regards to the election, I'm going to guess that the emotional um I'm I'm going to assume that a lot of you saw that, especially did did you see the I mean I'm curious to know if anybody like the first thing they noticed was how rocky the water was. That's the first thing I notice. So I'd be curious to know the first things you noticed because those are messages for you. The things that you notice, it might say a little bit about, you know, kind of what's in your mind right now, what's what you're feeling like in life. And then, you know, falling in love or wedding proposals. Again, this was specifically for the election, but maybe there's a message in there for you personally, too the need to balance emotions. Okay, maybe this is a card just for me. <laughs> balance emotions. It's been another emotional day. An invitation to a social event. So the for the wedding proposal and the social event don't work for me. It's, you know, with regards to the, the election, that was a good one for me. Okay, so let me um, find the night of water in the book and on the, I'll read you a little bit and we'll be done. Okay. So I'll just keep it here so you can kind of focus on it. All right, trying to keep the glare off. While the page of water heralds our first indicator of a powerful new emotional experience, the night of water, which is this one, shows that we've been completely swept off our feet. Oh my. This card refers to falling in love, offers of marriage, or any romantic experience that causes us to swoon. That's not what I interpret from that, but again, we're talking about the election. In fact, we may be thrown quite off balance by the entire situation and forget to remain grounded. This card can also herald an invitation to a social event of some kind. Symbolism, a handsome mermaid knight Handsome Mermaid Knight comes galloping into our lives. He's making some pretty big waves as he arrives. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, does anyone know why I'm laughing? Oh, my goodness gracious. I might have to change the words on this. A handsome Mermaid Knight. <laughs> oh, no. I have so many things to say right now and I don't want to say them because I want you to tell me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Lord. What color is he? What color is that mermaid? <laughs> oh, God, I'm just cracking up. Okay. Oh, my gosh, I don't even know. A handsome mermaid knight comes galloping into our lives. He's making some pretty big waves as he arrives. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm just cracking up because it's a handsome mermaid knight. No. His companion. You know, the, the thing that's I'm intuiting here is that, you know, 
we're talking about 45, obviously. So, well, for me, I shouldn't say that, obviously, but again, election day four. Um, I feel like, you know, he made some comment about, you know, I'm going to protect the women, you know, so that's why, that's why I'm laughing. The handsome mermaid comes galloping into our lives like protection, you know. Oh my gosh. I hope you got a little laugh out of that. I'm, I gotta really figure out how why there's glare on there. Okay, his companion is a dolphin, indicating that he's here to bring a note of playfulness. <laughs> he and the dolphin jump from the water, showing our knight's ability to move from one emotional situation to another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he can. The knight wears a winged helmet, signifying that he can move very quickly into our lives. <laughs> Unlike the page of water, the image in this card shows the cup completely submerged, indicating we may very well be in over our heads. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I, maybe I just needed a laugh. Maybe I just needed a laugh. Do you, anybody think we're in a, a, over our heads right now? Maybe he's the one that's in over his head. Our um, mermaid knight. Our handsome mermaid knight. Okay, this is the best one ever. All right. The Knight of Water is card 48. We're reminded that our angels are with us. Beautiful. And answering our prayers as long as we remember to ask for their assistance. That's a really good reminder, you guys. You do know, I don't know if you know, but I, I need to be reminded from time to time they will, won't interfere unless we ask, okay? So you need to ask for clarity, whatever you know, whatever you want to, but maybe like clarity around the situation for assistance in helping calm the waters, whatever you feel, you know, um, move to ask, whatever's in your heart uh, to ask. So we're reminded that our angels are with us and answering our prayers as long as we remember to ask for their assistance. Since eight is a number of expansion, we can anticipate an abundance of emotion during this time. <laughs> ah, this one nailed it. This one nailed it. The number reduce, okay, of course, if you, um, you know, it depends on what side you're on, but the number reduces to three. 4 plus 8 equals 12, 1 plus, so you have your 12, and then it's 1 plus 2 equals 3. <clears throat> we have the choice to ask the Ascended Masters for their help as well, okay? This is a very strong card for us um, as reminders. The number 3 is also traditionally related to communication, which is very important when dealing with the Knight of Water, all right. And you know, there's so many of us who are having communication issues right now with each other. And so this is very important when dealing with the night of water. OK, so it's very strong messages today, probably the strongest one in the series so far. People, the, uh, this, the category is people. I don't know why they call it people. The night of water will sweep us completely off our feet. There will be poetry, roses, chocolates, and whatever it is that makes our heart go pitter-patter. Okay, I would love to. I'm, I'm not even going to say what I think about that, but what do you think about it? Like, if you can put it in the comments. Like, why, if we were thinking about 45 here, if, if you were, then what would be significant about the night of water will sweep us completely off our feet. There will be poetry and roses, chocolates, and whatever it, it, whatever it is that makes our hearts go pitter-patter. <laughs> I'd like to know how you interpret that. This night practically invented the concept of romance, and we may never have felt so enamored. Mmm, boy, I am getting so many things from this. So I'll just say it because I'm just very chatty tonight, but hopefully, you know, hopefully you, you got a minute to kind of think about it. Cause again, I, it is important to me that you are using your own intuition. The night of water will sweep us. Come. Okay. So I'm thinking now this is a category under people. Okay. So I, this is how I'm seeing this right now is that the first part of the message was for um, folks who didn't 
aren't feeling too good about the election. And now this is for people who are feeling good about the election, this category. So I'm going to read it again, and then you tell me if you think that that's, you know, kind of what you're thinking too. The night of water will sweep us completely off our feet. There will be poetry, roses, chocolates, and whatever it is that makes our heart go pitter-patter. This night practically invented the concept of romance, and we may never have felt so enamored. You know, for me, 45 was, and I don't know if anybody else, I mean, if you watched him enough, you would know he basically invented everything. I mean, he was the, you know, he was the person who got along better with everybody. He, nobody does it better than me, he would say about everything. Nobody, nobody knows the food industry better than me. Nobody loves the environment more than me, you know, just all that stuff. So he, so that what's cracking me up is he practically invented the concept of romance. So for me, it's like, yeah, he thinks he, I mean, because he practically, he thinks he practically invented everything. Okay. This is a very positive card and great reminders, in my opinion. Not necessarily a positive card, like in terms of the state of where things are right now, but it's a great card for us to kind of, um, I feel like it's helping me manage my emotions about it a little bit. Okay, so however, we do have to be cautious. <laughs> That's under the people. However, we do have to be cautious. Oh my God, you can't make this up. You can't make this shit up. All right. The night of water may very well be our one true love, or he may just be a fling. We have to ask the right questions to tr truly discern if he's in love with us or just in love with the whole wonderful feeling of being in love. <laughs> oh, my God. It can be difficult to tell. Don't forget that in the image on the card, the night is jumping out of one wave into the next. He can jump from one relationship to another just so just as easily. Oh, commitments, commitment issues. Oh, goodness. Okay, astrology. Our night is Scorpio with a healthy dose of Libra thrown in for good measure. The Scorpio pay part of this of his world is extremely deep, emotional and passionate. However, it's not uncommon that the Libra part could love the chase aspect of romance the most once the night has caught has caught us he might lose interest oh my goodness gracious i mean i feel like this just first of all it was a great reminder for us of thing you know rocky waters ask for assistance you can ask the ascending masters for assistance just be really clear on what you want and just has pinned that character so well but that was my interpretation. What do you think? All right. We'll see you tomorrow for the next uh, post-election card reading. I don't know if it'll be as good as this one. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.